Different patient anatomies present variations in the distance to the center of the liver, variations that are not always correlated to a patient's weight or BMI. FibroScan is designed to explore a consistent 3 cubic centimeter volume of liver tissue irrespective of the patient's morphology. To accomplish this, FibroScan is equipped with three probes, two for adults and a pediatric probe, each designed to address different patient morphologies. FibroScan offers two adult probe models that accommodate the varying distances from the skin to the center of the liver in adult patients, which we call skin to capsule distance. The medium probe examines a 3 cubic centimeter cylinder of liver tissue between 25 and 65 millimeters below the surface of the skin. The XL probe examines a 3 cubic centimeter cylinder of liver tissue between 35 and 75 millimeters below the surface of the skin. The FibroScan probe selection tool will guide the operator in selecting the appropriate adult probe using a skin to capsule distance analysis algorithm. The small S pediatric probe is designed to vary the exam cylinder size and exam cylinder position based on the patient's thoracic perimeter. FibroScan adult probes examine a 3 cubic centimeter cylinder of the patient's liver. This large examination volume, more than 100 times the volume of a biopsy, helps to minimize sampling error. Using the correct probe model based on the adult patient's skin to capsule distance is required by the test protocol. FibroScan is powered by vibration-controlled transient elastography, or VCTE. Here is how this unique method for assessing liver stiffness works. A 50 Hz shear wave is mechanically induced from the tip of the FibroScan probe. To the patient, this feels like a slight flick or tap on the skin. The mechanical shear wave travels through the liver tissue. The shear wave's speed is measured by ultrasound pulses which reflect off the wave as it passes through the 3 cubic centimeter exam cylinder. The speed of the shear wave is used to calculate liver stiffness reported in kilopascals. Here the shear wave moves slowly through a healthy liver. In a cirrhotic liver the shear wave moves very rapidly. In addition to liver stiffness, FibroScan simultaneously calculates ultrasound attenuation rate within the explored 3 cubic centimeter volume. This assessment, known as controlled attenuation parameter, or CAP, is associated with the extent of fat present in the liver tissue. Ultrasound pulses are generated from the FibroScan probe. As fat builds in the liver, the rate of ultrasound signal absorption increases, resulting in a higher cap value reported in decibels per meter. A low attenuation rate is associated with lower levels of fat. A higher attenuation rate is associated with a higher level of fat in the liver tissue.